Why hasn't the next Gigafactory been announced? I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Well, no matter how much we push, prod, or desperately want them to, Tesla has stubbornly refused to announce their next Gigafactory, and we're all very curious to know where it will be. Tell me in the comments your guess. Russia? Mexico? India? Antarctica? Best Korea? I mean, I just don't know, but maybe you do. A quick thanks to the newest Patreons, Paul Crowdis, Tony Padua, and Morton West. At the cool level, very cool. And there will be more to come. And, you know, please smack the like button early so others might actually get to see this video, since YouTube really doesn't like showing these to people. Often, even my subscribers, your help is appreciated. There are precisely four reasons Tesla has not announced plans for their next Gigafactory, with a bonus fifth reason at the end. Number one, their hands are full. I mean, sure, you can say that Gigas Texas and Berlin are winding down in their construction phases, but are they? Really? I mean, sure, the foundations are done, but those are local crews. They won't be flying to Indonesia or Thailand for the next factory. Making a prototype is hard, building a factory is harder, and getting that factory to production at scale is vastly harder still. The big brain pool globally is limited, and they are laser-focused at this point, apparently, on the products already announced. There's still the Cybertruck, the Tesla Semi, and the Roadster 2.0 on the horizon, and they know they need to dedicate all the engineering power to those projects most of all. Number two, battery and supply constraints all the way up the line. What good is a factory if you don't have batteries? I mean, yes, they've shifted from lithium ion to lithium iron phosphate for an awful lot of the models, but even those batteries still have to come from somewhere. Tesla is already looking out on the five and 10 year horizon, and they know with reasonable confidence how quickly those battery supply lines will become available. But they're making their own 4680 factories. Well, I mean, yes, but that just moves the problem one or two steps up the supply chain. The raw materials are still a bottleneck. Having one or three or 20 4680 factories isn't helpful if you can't get the raw materials to put the cells together. If they broke ground today, the chip and other common material shortages would likely be sorted by the time it comes online. But the battery supply requires much longer term thinking. And as the other companies are waking up to the EV reality, they're starting to compete for those same limited resources. Number three, the machine that builds the machine is still in beta. To me, this is the biggest one. At Giga Shanghai, we watched the weekly drone footage and saw areas that were finished, torn up, finished again, and torn up again for what we hope is the final use of the space. At Giga Texas, we've seen even more of that. The water retention ponds have been finished and recut three and even four times. There are still refinements to what Tesla views as the ideal factory, and until those are ironed out, it doesn't make sense to start building under the assumption that it's just going to have to keep changing. I mean, forget the cost of a few tens of millions of dollars to make the construction changes, think about the compounding effect of having an inefficient factory. If your lines are in the wrong place, or if there's no room to expand the part that really needs it, you're going to lose 30 bucks a car shuttling parts around, 
for the life of the factory, and at even 2 million cars per factory, that's $60 million per factory per year. That's 100 cars per month in lost productivity at $50,000 each, or 12,000 cars over even a 10-year lifespan of the line. Number four, they have enough space already. Kind of. I mean, you don't need to announce anything if the plan is to just massively expand in Berlin, where we already know they someday intend to quadruple the size. I mean, they have more land available for expansion than that even still in Texas. Surely it makes sense to keep all the engineering, expertise, and manufacturing on a single campus when you have the room. To the surprise of everyone following Tesla even two years ago, they've run out of room in Shanghai. But there are rumors of adjacent bits of land being quietly handed over to Tesla for imminent construction. The space available at Giga Nevada is ample, though the talent pool in such a small market is limited. And a lot of people don't want to move there, you know, to the outskirts of the second biggest city in a state with only 3 million people. So why seek new locations and spread yourself thin when you can just expand at locations where you already have operations? Bonus reason, they may be sandbagging. Yeah, it's entirely possible, if a bit unlikely, that the next Gigafactory is already well into the planning or even construction phase, and we just don't know about it yet. As firmly as I believe, one day we'll see a product announcement end with, and the first thousand deliveries are available right now, I also believe we'll see an announcement for a factory that's already underway if not entirely built. There are plenty of countries where construction projects like this would fly under the radar if they used a fake subsidiary name, and the budget is now so massive and spans so many countries that absorbing it might not even be that difficult in terms of the financial reports. So why do you think they haven't announced another Gigafactory just yet? please let me know in the comments. I guarantee you, one of you out there at least is much smarter than me and has an even better answer. Subscribe if you haven't already to get notified and follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. And you know what? Smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So what did I miss or misunderstand. Leave me all your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below. And as always, my friends, please stay tuned, please stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots inside the next Gigafactory. And a quick thank you to my amazing gracious Patreons who get early access, a bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. Yeah, I moved this shout out to the end to, you know, do it as a thank you for all of you guys for your amazing generosity and support which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's uh, dreaded and painful algorithm. And a good thing, too, because uh, YouTube, YouTube. So thank you guys all. Thank you, one and all, all of you, everyone who made it this far. Thank you so much.